Hi everybody, this is Dr. Apoor Mehra. And I'm Dr. Zainab Bora. So uh, this video is about Dr. Zainab's, uh, I will call her Zainab here because that's the way I address her. And uh, please, don't get angry with me. So this is about her experience about uh, the, the exams that have recently gone away. NEET and then INICT and their students' interaction. She has been taking a lot of interviews with the students. That how cerebellum has helped them in their preparation. So this is something I really want to know. There are... There are specific ways which which uh, she will tell you. My number one question is uh, the the BTR as you've been running. So the students have been following it. So what is the experience of the students who who cleared the exams, INICT toppers, NEET toppers? How were they utilizing BTR then? Yeah, I think that was very insightful for me as well to learn in a variety of way how different students have actually utilized uh, BTR. Um, I think one of the main uh, things which one student also told me very nicely was they used it for active surveillance. I think that was something very interesting uh, for me. What what she said uh, was that, that, and it's a very interesting uh, interview as well. Uh, I, I still remember her name was J. The very weird pronunciation, Z, I think, is how she, it was pronounced. What she said was that I'd already completed my main videos, you know, main notes. And that's what I think uh, resonated with most uh, toppers, that they had already completed one reading of a, of a resource. And, and then they came to BTR. So then they understood the essence of things. Uh, personally, also what I feel is when students directly do BTR, they would not be able to understand of what this one line actually represents how right. it has been tested or how it can be tested and what it means. I think in one of our conversations only I said that BTR is the moral of the story. If you don't know the story, you will probably not understand the, the utility or, or, or what the moral of the story is trying to say. There will be a difference in who understand the story and the moral of the story and only those who just do the moral of the story. So I think if you have finished one round of revision of, of certain source, which, which may be main notes or nowadays people do either mission slash quick revision from cerebellum. If you have done that once, then BTR really helps you consolidate stuff and you know that, okay, this is what is important. So, so that's one point. The second point going back to what active surveillance means is when I'm doing BTR and I find that okay visual field effects is something which is weak let me go back retrograde you know to my main notes or or the mission class or the quick revision class and see what the faculty has taught so it gives you in a nutshell of what are my most important topics in 19 subjects ki is mein galti nahi afford kar sakte. that is what everybody said few of them have completed it five to six times by the time the exam came this time thanks to postponements you had one or two rounds extra but but you know four to five times you will need to review it in order to master it. So you have to master BTR such that this may say question I have a up afford nahi kar sakte given the competition currently. You know, so that is what it is, and you find out topics. It gives you a bird's eye view ki ye subject may itna important. Hai. Usme se find karo ki mujhe yaha yaha problem ho rahi hai. And these are important topics with PYQs, pe maybe I need to go more in depth. Find out those areas and do retrograde learning, you know. I, I also find that to be the best approach which a lot of students uh, told me. So, so use BTR after doing one revision of, of whatever is the primary source. Then when you use BTR, do it multiple times again and again. Second thing from BTR that a lot of students said uh, was the test and discussion. You know, the TNDs and this is not just BTR, I think our cerebellum TNDs in general, that's I think the game changer for, for most students, you know, that, that when you attempt a test and you see a faculty discussing the question, you, you build that thought process. So I think that is something which cerebellum does exclusively where, where a faculty is going to come and tell you that, all right, you had to approach this question this way. So I think there is no replacement for that, you know, that's how you're going to develop the skill of MCQ solving and that's the most important skill at the end of it. So both BTR tests and our, our, our subject wise mission plan ENDs, I think that is something which was a very, very important thing, which almost every student mentioned in the interview. So make the most of these, you know, give every single END which is there and, and attend the discussions. Even if you do it recorded, make it a point that you're seeing them. Don't take it for granted that we answer the 
देख लेते हैं बिकॉज यू हैव टू लर्न दो टॉपिक्स एज वेल एंड एंड विथ फैकल्टी दे कवर इट वेरी सीमलेसली मतलब अगर मुझे एक क्वेश्चन का आंसर बताना है साथ साथ वो टॉपिक हो जाता है राइट सो सो दैट इज समथिंग विच वॉज वन ऑफ द थिंग एंड आई थिंक लेट नाइट पी वाई क्यू मैराथन एवरी स्टूडेंट हैज मैं यू नो कि बाई द टाइम यू नो वी आर टायर्ड अब हमसे कुछ और पढ़ाई नहीं हो पाएगी This is something which is very handy, you know. If if I was in their position, that's something I would utilize, uh, you know, uh, very very well as well. That रात को सोने से पहले पचास एम सी क्यू है सॉल्व कर लो यू नो इट्स वन वन सेट ऑफ द एग्जाम डू इट एंड एंड दैट गिव्स यूर चेक लिस्ट एज वेल कि ओके ये ये क्वेश्चन है एंड यू फाइंड आउट टॉपिक्स एंड एंड दिस इज वॉट आई वुड डू इन फैक्ट फॉर पी वैक्यू मैराथन इज ओके पांच क्वेश्चन थे जिनके आंसर नहीं आते थे टूमोरो मॉर्निंग फर्स्ट थिंग आई हैव टू डू इज फिनिश दो फाइव टॉपिक्स सो साथ साथ डेली इमेजिन वी आर कंप्लीटिंग फिफ्टी एम सी क्यूज विच आर नॉट जस्ट पी वाई क्यूज दे आर पी वाई टीज यू नो सो सो दैट्स वॉट वी कीप से यही चीजें आने वाली है फिर so you got a master it and this gives you a very easy way you know to review it you are done passively kuch nahi karna hai raat ko kuch dekhne se pehle uh, like insta reel se better hai just solve that one set and then do those mcqs very passively also even if you do thak gaye hain passively kar rahe hain as a checklist finish it i think that is something which was a big uh, hit amongst all all of the students which i interviewed so i'll summarize yeah read uh, the main notes or the main videos and if you are somebody who's not able to do it on their own sit in front of the cerebellum in the evenings for the mission programs that's how you should start then go through btr multiple times that each line which will be difficult for you to if you go without anything else will become easier while you're doing it there will be areas you will not be able to understand do not hesitate to open up the sections where you will find information or do some questions on the same topic it is an mcq exam that art and craft should be with you so tnds are very very important for that during the low efficiency hours you know there will be a late night pyq popping up for you to you know sleep with some new things which you don't know or some older mcqs which you know but you have started forgetting and then while you are going and walking towards the final brunt final edge do the marathon and as many people did then yeah. they would just go through the btr book and flip over the pages in the last yeah. day or the choti copy as we are giving with this next edition they have made their own choti copy or the btr book they would always turn and see all the images yeah. so these are different features covered and i will like to tell you one thing right which i i realize uh, listening to the interviews which uh, dr zainab took dr praveen the universe boss took or goga bhai took or vivek sir took or sparsh took in all these interviews what i realize is there were there were two three constant things which students did mention the mission classes the btr and the late night pyqs this is something they all mentioned and the students who were feeling that they might choke at the end they did mention about the marathon right yeah, so i think the cerebellum is trying to make a difference in the results they it is making two differences what i feel those students who were very very back then they were not able to think that there's a way how to revise it is giving a solution to come ahead those who were in the middle ranks their ranks are improving and do, those who were already at the top their ranks are getting consolidated and that is what Absolutely. is the difference that is there anything yeah. else you want to and i i think Uh, basically uh, the best part is that we are listening you know uh, somebody is always active i think most of the time it's praveen sir who's who's commenting and responding to whatever problem students are facing so so we adapt very quickly depending on what the student needs i think that is something which is the best part and that's what i have observed over the last one and a half years with cerebellum is exam gets postponed it gets preponed whatever you know we can always adapt our life class schedule and we are listening and we are at the ground level uh, we, and we know what the student is facing right now you know so i think that that relationship that that you form at the end and that's what we witnessed in the cerebellum event as well that we had called so many students you feel that connect it's not like you're meeting for the first time that inko to janti hai you know so so that is i think something very important about live classes and that's that's what it brings to the table so see you at the mission classes see you at the boot camp see you finally at the cerebellum event when it's about your joy because the institute that we have built is for the students by the teachers thank you very much thank you.